Okay, hello to all of you out there. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some of my father's art that we still have for sale. Some of it is on display in Chicago. If anyone's in Chicago and would like to come see it, uh, let me know. Um, if you are not interested in purchasing any of this art, but you know someone who might be, um, you can, uh, we do, I'll just say we, we do pay commission. So if, if somebody were to, um, trying to center this as best I can here, um, trying to get all of the art in. So it's, this is the edge of my <laughs> computer over here. This is obviously the edge of the painting. So, um, this is our, this is our Facebook page. That's why it says Facebook over here. And these little things are over here. Um, so I'm just going to go over the pieces that we have not sold. We have sold some. If you go to this page the, called The Art of Tristan Meineke uh, and look through the, the art on, the, on our photo album, which is pinned to the top of the page, you will see the art that we have for sale as well as, um, as, well as the art that we've sold. Um, so I'm just going to try to go through. I'm not going to go through everything, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the art, and uh, hopefully it will generate some interest. And like I said... It's for sale. Some of it's on display. You can come see it if you're in Chicago. And with that, we'll, we'll start. This piece is called Burning with Awareness. It's oil on masonite. And it's um, the medium is called split level painting, where he takes, um, th well, this is three paintings in one. This is the, the, for the front layer. Then there's the middle section inside of it, and then the back. Um, my dad invented this in the 1950s. And uh, it's it's a there's a little story about that you can probably find it on our website tmeineke.com if you're if you're interested in knowing more about um, about our father Tristan Meineke. Um, this is a big big painting as are a lot of his paintings. This one is 48 inches by 72 inches and it's six inches thick, six inches deep, and this was done in the 1950s. Okay, next. This piece is called Open Rebellion. He didn't title all of his art, so not, not all is going to have titles. This, again, was done in the 1950s. It is 48 inches by 59 inches, and it's 3 inches deep. And again, it's oil on masonite. This is a series of paintscapes that he did. Most of them are big. This is a smaller painting that he did. It's a mixed media on masonite. Um, at times you'll see a little blue thing like this. It's a tag that we was it was on in the picture, so it's not part of the not part of the art. Um, this one is 48 and a half inches by 24 inches, and it's two inches thick. And I don't know the year that this was done. Not not sure. This is another huge painting, uh, circa 1950s. I think the paintscapes are 1950s as well but I'm guessing. This one's called Punctum Contra Punctum. It is 97 inches long. That's a very, very big painting. 49 inches tall. 97 by 49 and two and a half inches uh, thick. I for, I think it's just the, the thing he painted on. It's oil on masonite. A lot of his paintings are oil on masonite. Here's another one of the paintscapes. This one is big and heavy. It is 97 by 48 and a half by two inches. And again, mixed media, and it's circa 1950. And this one is not titled. This is another mixed media on masonite. It is 96 by 48 by 2 inches. And there's the inventory tag again. So nothing. Just, uh, just wanted you guys to see this stuff. Hope, hopefully you're enjoying this. Okay, here's a somewhat smaller painting. This one's very light. It is 48 and a half by 48 and a half by two and a half. It is uh, titled Windy City. It says it's oil and enamel on masonite. Oh no, wait, this one was sold. So I'm gonna have to forget about that. We, we did sell this one, but the next one we have. And this is oil on masonite and it's almost the same size, 48 by 48 by two. And if you see a br if if it looks brighter here in the, in the on the video, that's simply a flash from when we took the picture. This one is called uncomposed again, mixed media, but this time it's wood that he painted on. Forty eight and a half inches by fifty one inches by two inches uh, to two inches thick. Here's one of the uh, biggest paintings we still have of his. 
This one is 50 by 97 and a half by four and a half. It's heavy. It's oil on wood and masonite. And um, it's a big, huge kind of kind of monster face. And he had a series of red, white, and blues. I'm going to show you the uh, some more of them right, I think, I think next. Oh, is that not coming in focus? I'm seeing that my uh, camera is not getting it in focus. Really? Let me see if I can. There we go. Just by moving it like that, I brought it into focus. There you go. What are you going to do? Okay. Here's another one of the red, white, and blues. This is oil on masonite. These are all circa 1950s. 39 inches by 49 inches by three and a half inches. Somewhat heavy, but not as heavy as that last piece. Okay, that one uh, that I previously that said, that that I said might have a flash in the center is, um, I forget what the dimensions were. Uh, that one is on display, and so is this one. Um, Forty-eight and a half inches by seventy-three inches by two inches, and it is oil on masonite. And this one is on display. If anyone's in Chicago and would like to come see it, just uh, let us know. Here's an interesting piece. Now, everything behind it is not the art. There's the inventory tag. This uh, back here is other something else is another piece of art. This is just, we, we just set this up and took a picture of it. So it is oil on wood and pegboard. This is a pegboard right here that he pretty much hacked up and included. Again, circa 1950s. And this piece is approximately 49 inches by 60 inches by five inches. This piece was called The Great Fire. It's oil on wood, 73 inches by 48 inches by three and a half inches. And a uh, pretty cool painting. Very old, obviously. I'm pretty sure, again, probably 1950s. And this piece, uh, if you look back at the shape of the previous one, this is that shape again. This is what, what he cut it out and f took made it into another painting. This one is 72 by 48 by four and a half, and it says oil on masonite. The other one said oil on wood, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Yeah, we're not, we're not professionals here. <laughs> this is a painting that was done with a live model uh, in my father's art class back in the 1950s that he was teaching, and he painted this in front of his students with one four-inch brush. Um, in about an hour and 45 minutes, it took him to do this. Um, was a demonstration that he was he was teaching them some, something about painting and we we talk, we talk about it on, on the on the on the page it's called sitting nude and it's 48 inches 48 and a half inches by 72 and a half inches by one and a half inches oil on masonite okay we have other nudes but I'm not going to show them because I don't know if uh, YouTube would have a problem with it this is a very small piece this is uh, painted back in 1941, and it is a watercolor. It's only 11 inches by 22 inches, and I had it framed, and uh, this is actually in my apartment on the wall, so it's on display too. This piece is called Apex. It's oil on masonite. It is 48 inches by 72 and a half inches by two and a half inches. It is a little dirty down here at the bottom, which it just needs to be cleaned, which we can do. Um, but he told me, and he swore to me, he painted this with a with free hand. He, 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 painted, he simply took a brush, and, and I said, no way. He said, yeah. I did. I'm like, okay. I don't know. I don't know how he can do that, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty darn straight line. This one is simply called The Wall. I don't know if I'm getting the very bottom of it, but that's okay. It's 33 inches by 84 inches by 5 inches, and it is light. This is a light piece. Oil on canvas stretched over a wood frame. It's another uh, 4 by 4. It says 48 by 48 and a half by 2 inches. It's um, oil on masonite. This is a heavy piece. It's um, mixed media on masonite. It's 60 inches by 48 inches by two and a half inches. This, uh, again, there's a flash in the center here. If it, I don't know how it's gonna look on the video. If you're into black and white paintings, here you go. This is oil on masonite, 67 inches by 50 inches by two and a half inches. This one is on display. It is called Ideological Scape. It is another another kind of a paint scape paint, uh, painting. Mixed media on masonite. Um, 
it is 48 and a half by 73 by one and a half inch thick. So another big painting, but light, pretty light painting. This one is also on display, and again, it's mixed media on masonite. 48 inches by 66 inches by two and a half inches. And I'm giving you the dimensions so you can get a feel for how big these paintings are. He did do a lot of very big paintings. This one is not currently on display, but it might be at some point soon. We'll see. Uh, it says oil and cement on masonite. I think that's right. Not 100%. It's not that heavy, though. So when it says cement, um, it, it might be. 48 inches by 72 inches by 2 inches. I, we call this one of his uh, architectural paintings. My father taught himself architecture and ran a successful architectural firm with, a, with an architect named Robert Bruce Tagg. You can look him up uh, for about 10 to 15 years in Chicago. I call this piece jungle because it looks like I'm looking into a jungle with a great big bird in the front. It's oil on wood. 39 inches by 49 and a half inches by 6 inches, and this one is on display. All right, this one again says oil and cement on masonite. It's not that heavy, but it is 36 by 48 by 2 inches. Here's a, late, a later painting of his that he painted in 1978. Um, he, with his sense of humor, called it Unidentified Flying Anger or UFA instead of UFO. It's oil on wood, and he's just simply assembled it. It's 20, about 27 inches by 27 inches by 11 inches. So, <laughs> cool painting. I've always thought this painting was odd because the mannequins, it's like, why didn't you cut, cut it off here? But he included this big board, and uh, it's oil on mannequin parts attached to wood. It's 49 by 39 by 6. Here's another oil on wood. It is 37 by 33 by nine and a half inches. Obviously it's made to look like it's a fire or a fireplace. And again, that's the inventory tag. I probably don't have to keep saying that, do I? Here's a cool piece. This, bo these, this board and this board cut through and comes come out the top. Oil and spray paint on wood. It is 31 and a half inches by 50 inches by 12 inches. Where my father lived at the time, there were uh, there was a construction zone, and they were tearing down a building. And he asked him if he could take some of those doors, and they just said, "Sure, take them. We don't care." So he has four doors that he turned into faces and bodies, and uh, I'm just going to show all four of them. This one is 30 by 78 by two, and it's oil on on a door. That's what it is. Um, so this one's 30 and a half by 89 and a half by two and a half. This one is 30 inches by 90 inches by one and a half. I, I, I call this one Squidward because it looks like Squidward to me. Um, and obviously this was done way before Squidward existed. And this is kind of a ghost, 32 by 71. I think this is the, the shortest door by one and a half. This is a more simple painting, an oil on plywood. It's 22 inches by 38 and a half inches. My dad painted several monsters. I think this is the last one we have left. They were very fragile, and so uh, I think the others um, got too damaged. We couldn't keep, couldn't salvage them. This one's on my wall. I salvaged it. It is uh, oil on paper. It's about eight feet tall. That's about how, how tall that thing is. And uh, I, I love the one-eyed monster. Very, very cool painting. This piece... Um, my dad saw a tractor cover laying in a field. He was driving down a road, and he went and grabbed the tractor cover, took it home, and folded it into a face shape like this, and that, that and painted it, obviously. It, again, about eight feet tall, and it's mounted on a board. I don't know how thick. A couple inches, I think, is about the thickness. It's another one of these folded canvases. This one's smaller, uh, 33 by 44 by 7. This one's oil on masonite, and it is just this, the, the frame, the, everything on the, the white part is not part of the painting. And it's 48 by 37 by 2. This one, we call it Tempest Palette, um, because these are palettes, painting palettes, and he took them and assembled them and made this shape. 
Uh, it's about 52 inches by 69 inches high and about 10 inches deep. Very, very cool painting. Here's a fairly simple, simpler version of that. He took five canvases and created this shape with wood, and it, it's very light. It's about 56 inches by 62 inches by 3 inches. Here's another one where the white is just background. It's not on any white thing. It's just the thing itself. It is oil on wood, 48 inches by 48 inches, and it's about 3.5 inches thick because these uh, the wood comes up. It's not all flat. We call this picture a uh, ghost mom because it looks like a mom and a ghost. Simple. Uh, it's oil on masonite, uh, 48 inches by 72 inches by 2 inches. That might be oil on wood. I'd have to double check, but we said oil on masonite, so maybe, maybe that's what it is. And he had a series of the ghost paintings. These are all smaller versions so we said these are her, these are her kids. This one's 24 and a half inches by 48 and a half inches, and again, oil on masonite. This one is 49 inches by 24 and a half inches, another one of the ghost paintings. And this one is 23 inches by 44 inches. This is not a very good picture. It's kind of, well, I guess it looks okay in the, in the pic. It looks a little dark to me. We, I, I'm thinking this is the, the dad, the ghost dad, because it's just the big face. Uh, it's 48 inches by 72 inches by 4 inches. So that's the whole ghost family, saying so you know them all. <laughs> I think this is a very cool painting. It's, it says oil and lacquer on plywood. Lacquer, L-A-C-Q-U-E-R. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't even know. 20 inches by 41 inches by 3 and a half inches. He used to have this up in his house. Uh, on the wall for many, many years. Here's another great big uh, split level painting of his oil on masonite, 96 inches by 48 inches by four inches. And it's dirty. If you can see it on the pick, there's a lot of dust when we just took the pick because we just wanted to show it before cleaning it. He painted this in the 1970s and he called it Side of Beef. <laughs> It's 63 inches by 44 inches by 2 inches, and this is uh, in my apartment. And when I say it's on, it's in my apartment, that means it's on display, but the other stuff that, that is on display is not in my apartment, so they're on display in two different places. Um, I, I, we said this is a watercolor. I think it was acrylics. I, I think we're wrong that this is a watercolor, but whatever. This is in my apartment, too, because that person right there is me, and that was our boat. This was painted from real life at a lake in southern Illinois called Rend Lake. It is uh, 19 by 13 and a half, matted and framed. It is 26 and a half by 21, and that is painted from real life. And he just sat at the top of the hill and painted it. I watched him paint some of it. It was very, very cool. I wanted to show you a couple of his airbrush collages that he did um, airbrush on newspaper, and he did these in the 1980s. There's about maybe a dozen of them. Uh, this one is 28 inches by 22 inches. They're all close in size, not exactly the same size, but roughly the same. I'll show you a couple more. This one is 30 inches by 20 inches. Let's see if I can get you one more here. And this is a cool one. It is 14 inches by 24 inches, but this one is not framed. It is just matted. Oh, the mat matted is 20 inches by 30 inches. So. We still need to frame that one. This one should be on display. It's not yet, but I believe it's, it'll be on display this week. It is 33, it's oil on particle board. Uh, and it is, it is now framed. 33 inches by 31 and a half inches, a little bit bigger with the frame, not much. This might be the last one. I'll look through to see if there's any more I wanna show you. This one will be on display soon too. And this again is, is now framed. Kind of like that black frame that you saw um, it doesn't matter. It's uh, 48 inches by 24 inches, and it's just oil on canvas. Those are basically just brush strokes, and he created the, the pattern, the images. Show you another one of these brush strokes that he did. He did these later in, uh, later in life, so probably 80s or maybe even 90s. This one's 24 by 36. 
This is a beautiful little painting he did. It's a mixed media on board, 19 inches by 13 and a half inches. It has been, since, since this picture, it has been matted and framed. We just haven't put the new picture up. Hopefully I'll do that at some point. Yeah, this, these were done in the 90s. Um, I'm pretty, pretty certain of that. Uh, this one is 14 inches by 18 inches, and it's just oil on canvas. <sighs> Here's another oil on canvas, 16 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. Here's another one I particularly like, another oil on canvas, and it's another small painting, 16 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches, painted in the 90s again. And I'll, and I'll show this one just for fun, uh, though somebody might be interested. I don't, I don't know if, I don't think we're going to sell it, though. Um, maybe for the right price. It's only 12 inches by 15 inches, but this is my father's self-portrait. That should tell you all you need to know about him. <laughs> This is a very interesting small painting. It's 20 inches by 24 inches, oil on canvas. Sometimes people have said when they look at it at a certain angle, it looks like Christ. Late in life in the 90s, my dad started painting these faces, and we don't know why. Well, actually, we do. My, my brother asked him, and he said, they haunt me. That was his answer, and he, he painted a, a bunch of them. This one is 23 inches by 38 and a half inches, and it's mixed media on paneling. I think it's mostly oil, but you know. There's another one of the face paintings, 16 inches by 20 inches. Here's a cool piece. It was on display. It might be on display again in a week or two. I'm not certain of that, but this one is oil on wood, 18 and a half inches by 39 inches. And I, I think we called it Scream, appropriately titled, I'd say. This piece is in my uh, bedroom. It's called Purely Non-Objective. And I know that because there's a tag on the back and he he uh, named it. Like I said, he didn't name all of his pieces. This is oil on canvas. It is 22 inches and 60 inches top to bottom. Okay, and this is the last one I'll show you. This is a self-portrait he did when he was 17 years old. So in uh, 1933, my dad uh, lived from 1916 to 2004. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you about it. But if you have any questions, leave a comment and let me know. I hope you'll leave a comment anyway, letting me know what you think of the art. Um, and we'd love to chat. And if you know anyone who's interested in buying art, let us know. We pay commission. Of course, if you're interested... You know, we'll do that. Um, but that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the art. If you want to see more, go to the Art of Tristan Meineke Facebook page or tmeineke.com is our website. And uh, maybe I'll do more of this in the future. Talk to you all later.